And welcome back. Well, there are a lot of cosmetic treatments on the market today. Many are safe with proven results, but do they all deliver results? Maybe you've always wanted to try something, but you have your doubts. Well, that's why Dr. Deborah Mangione agreed to visit with us today to talk about the services at the Wisconsin Vein Center and Medispa and to clear up some misconceptions about some of the most popular treatments available today. Hi, doctor. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, ladies? Doing good. Great to see you. Happy Friday to you. Let's talk you. first about Botox because it might yeah. be one of the most popular. I know that your staff is a fan of it, but a lot of people will say, I would never get a Botox injection because it's poison. That's right. And the fact of the matter is Botox is a purified protein that was made from the toxin that was produced by bacteria, Clostridium botulinum, um, many, many, many years ago. And it is formulated in the laboratory. So injections of Botox are not poison. And we inject such a minute amount that it is nowhere near um, any kind of lethal dosage. And it cannot develop more toxin in your body because it's not a bacteria we are injecting. We're only injecting a protein. Yeah, and this is actually used sometime in therapies for babies, so it's very safe. Yes, it, it, it's extremely safe. It's been FDA approved for years to use when babies are born and they have either a palsy, or it's called a brachial plexus palsy, where their arm is stretched and so it's not moving properly. And so to prevent a contraction where the arm is stuck like this, they all inject Botox to relax muscles. And so the baby can have physical therapy. So it is really a very, very safe product to use. Love it. This next one, I've heard people say myself, okay, there's a picture of Botox, but here's what they say. If I get wrinkle filler, I'll have to continue getting it because then my skin will sag when it's gone. Right. And that's really not true at all. When we inject wrinkle filler, we're getting into the tissues where we can actually put a product that's not foreign to the body. And so it can help build collagen. And in addition, it's not like we're injecting air and blowing up a balloon. What we're injecting, as I said, are natural products that our body is used to, but also we're talking about like one syringe of filler is one fifth of a teaspoon. So mm. five syringes is just a teaspoon of filler. So if you put it in perspective, there's no way that that spread around your face is going to cause any kind of expansion of the tissue that then will sag afterwards. Now, this next concern that people have, I think, is legitimate because what they see in Hollywood and celebrities, mm -hmm. and that is that they're going to look overdone, whether it's right. filler, uh, especially filler, perhaps in the lips and things like that. They're saying, I would never do that because I, I just don't want to look fake. Right. And I would agree with them because we don't want you to look done. We want you to look natural, just more refreshed, like you come back from a vacation or like you're able to turn back the clock a little bit from some new uh, facial treatment you've had, just a product you've used on the external part of your, your face. But really, we're doing some filler just to plump things up and make you look more naturally beautiful. I loved the one that we looked underneath the tear trough, you know, the, yes. the one we saw before, just how that can fill that in and made it look not so tired. So pretty right. interesting. Exactly. Um, the next right. one, I can't shave an area between laser hair removal treatments. Because there's I'm a space between that, those treatments. Yeah, I was surprised that people thought this, but I can understand it because there are six weeks between treatments and you need at least six treatments total to get rid of the majority of hair that you have in any area. But the fact of the matter is we ask people actually to shave the night before or the morning of a procedure so that there's no problem uh, in shaving either. It's not going to affect the laser. It actually will make it more comfortable if you have shaved hair from the area. And it's not going to prevent you from being able to get a laser treatment. So you can actually do everything you want hygienically to, you know, keep yourself looking fresh and, and clean and without hair until you have your next hair removal treatment. And I think it's one of the most fabulous treatments. I had it done at your spa, I think, more than 10 years ago and have not shaved my legs in that long. And it leaves oh, skin feeling sweet. so smooth. That's the, the extra benefit. It's not even just that you it don't have huge, to shave. Huge benefit. Huge. You know, we ask people not to use a depilatory uh, between treatments. You don't want to pull out the whole hair follicle because we need something for the laser to be attracted to. But shaving is absolutely fine. We encourage it. Wonderful. What about people who think that Medispot treatments, that all of these sort of cosmetic procedures are just for older women who have a lot of wrinkles? 
You know, our age range of our patients and clients here is from young teens to 90 plus. So we see people of all ages with all kinds of concerns that we're able to handle. And there is something for everybody, for sure. Whether it be sunspots when you're in your 90s and what we consider age spots, or if it's acne in a young uh, person or a congenital birthmark or something, we can treat these things. Uh, in addition, of course, spider veins can affect anybody. and Varicose veins can affect people of all ages as well. And we treat people the whole gamut of ages, as I said, from teenage to mid-90s. My friends who look the youngest started in their 20s, so mm -hmm. very true. Well, that's true um, the next one, one before and after photos aren't mention. realistic. A lot of times people just don't believe them. Right, and you know what we do when people come in for consultations, we try to show them our own albums of patients we've taken care of here. So they see the best and maybe not as great a result, but so they know what the range is for things, especially important when we're doing something like pool sculpting, body contouring, People want to know how much of a difference they're going to see. And it's very important for them to see realistic pictures, befores and afters. What about people who are concerned about the amount of pain involved with a lot of procedures? You know, we are very sensitive to that. We don't use any kind of sedation, conscious sedation at all. But we do use topical anesthetics when we're doing any kind of light treatments on the face, either laser or intense pulse light or needling. Uh, and if necessary, we can use something called Pronox, which is nitrous oxide, which is out of your system in a matter of seconds, actually, after you start breathing uh, fresh oxygen. But it can just help take the edge off if it's necessary. But we are really very tuned in to somebody's level of discomfort, and we try to make it so that everybody's very comfortable. We want you back. We don't want you to be dreading coming, and we want you to enjoy it. Yep, makes sense. Thank you so much for clearing up some of those common misconceptions that people have. Thanks, Deb. You're welcome, and thank you very much. I want to see you in person again instead of looking at my green light camera here. I know. We feel <laughs> the same way. I totally get it. Thank you so much, doctor. Good to see you, if only virtually. want to make sure that people know that you do have virtual appointments available. You are also still seeing people very safely and following all the protocol in your Medispa. It's located on Georgetown Drive in Pewaukee. The phone number is 262-746-9088. You can go to wimedispa.com to learn more.